Hello friends. Today in this video, we are going to create a basic simple program with just a button click action. That means when a button is clicked, there will be some action triggered. So let us see how we are doing it. So we are doing this one with the Android Studio Chipmunk version 2021 2.1. So this is the latest version as of now. So we'll be doing it with this one. So first you have to open the Android Studio and click on new project. Here there will be a lot of templates will be displayed. So you can select an any you can select an empty activity. So here we have selected empty activity and then click on next. So here we have to just give the name for the application. We can give the name as button action. Once we have provided the name, we can click on finish. So this will create the environment. So wait until all the environment is completely created. So here you have to see it is still loading. So we have to wait until the loading is completed. Now the loading is completed. So in Android Studio, always there are two files which are very, very important. One is the main activity and another is the activity main.xml. So main activity is a Java file, so where the coding everything will be written. And activity main.xml is nothing but the layout file. So here this defines where the buttons, where the text boxes, where the design and how it should be. So that one, so the design related parameters are configured or created in activity main.xml. Let's now move on in creating the button and then action followed with it. So now we can click on activity main.xml here. So here it will show you the layout. So just minimize it so that you can see it fully. So here already there is a predefined text hello world it is there. So we can delete it. So I've just selected it and I have deleted it. And now we can add a button. So from this section, we can just drag and drop the button for our application. So the button is added. So now we have to position this button where it should be. So just you can drag the arrow marks and you can position it. So you can position it anywhere, like you can move it up or you can move it down or you can move it left or you can move it. Right. So we can position it here. And for this button, we can give some text. So we can say as like, we can say as button one, button one. Okay. So now what we'll do when the button is clicked, we'll have one text box saying that the button is clicked. Okay. So for that, we'll add a text to you. For that, just select and drop a text view. So text view we have added. In the same way we can position the text view. Okay, and now the font size is very very small. So what we can do is we can increase the font size. So here select the text view and come little bit down so you will find the size font size so here the text size is 14 sp so we can increase it to 24 sp so now the size of the text is but increased so we can adjust the box as per our convenience and here for the text, we can give some uh, predefined text. Like here, instead of text view, we can type as button is not pressed. So that means initially it will be displaying as button is not pressed. So once we click on the button, we can change this to some other one, like button is pressed or some other display. Okay, so now we have got our button and we have got our text pretext which is before clicking the button so now we can go into the coding now we have to find out when the button is clicked right 
So for that, what we have to do is we can just double click it and here in search to type on click. It means when the on click function, that means when the button is clicked, what function to be triggered. So we can write function. Okay, so this we can give any name. So it is just a function, it is just a reference. So we can just click as function click. Okay. Now you can go to the coding part. So now if at all if you are going to the code. So here if you see the what here we are at on click, we have added as function click. So that one is displayed here in the activity main.xml. That means the layout file. So here it is showing with some error. That means it is marked with red. So that means it is having error. And the error is corresponding handler public void function Android view not found. So here from this drop down, we can just select create function click view in main activity. So this one will create this entry in the main activity and uh, this error will be gone. So we can just create click on it. So now this error is gone. That means here this function click is automatically added by this action okay friends now we have to type what is the display that needs to be configured for example when the button is clicked so it will come and execute this function so here we will type what is the action which is needed for that we can set a variable variable display text colon text view equal to so here where we are displaying the location we have to put that is nothing but the text box so here we have to find the text box id so the text box id is text view so the text view is the text box id so this find view by id or dot id and the id is text view so we have to just select text view that means where we are going to populate the text that we have identified and we have marked it to a variable display text now we are going to print the value for display text that means set display text display text dot set text here we can input the message that we want to display so here we can say as button is pressed that means when the button is clicked it will come inside this function and this will be executed that is there will be a display message that button is pressed and this message will be populated in text view text box now we can run this and we can verify it so just I have already added an emulator here. So we can just directly run the emulator. So the emulator is now loading. So now the emulator is loaded. So now further our application will be loaded now. So here we can see the status like gradle build running. That means it is still processing. So we can wait for a while so that the application will be loaded here. We have got a message launch succeeded and our application is also loaded. So here initially the text message which we are getting is button is not pressed. So now we can click on this button. That means after clicking this button, this, this message should be changed. So that is our program. So I'm just clicking this button and now we got this context changed. So this is the very, very simple uh, coding. This is a very very simple coding and hope everyone understood. In case of any doubts, you can just add the doubts in the comment section or you can share the feedbacks. And in case if anyone don't know how to create this emulator and how to test it out, so that one will be explained in a separate video in the same channel. So please do subscribe to this channel so that there will be more Android Studio programs and training videos will be uploaded and you can stay up to date on it. Thank you and thanks for watching.